Right, good morning everybody. I'm just going to open the last glaze firing of the electric kiln for this year. Hopefully uh, I'm going to get back this weekend to uh, firing the uh, reduction kiln. Uh, that's been dried out yesterday and uh, fingers crossed uh, if the, uh, it gets a bit warmer in the next couple of days uh, we'll be firing some chinos in the gas kiln. But uh, here's this kiln on see this, it's inside, it's in view. Yeah. This is a moon jar that's gone here. Got a nice purple effect around the edge here where it's uh, broken blue to white. Uh, so coming out okay. <coughs> Another slightly bigger one there. This has got some really nice um, purple effects on it there. It's a really nice moon jar. These are one of the smaller ones that I do. That's come out okay. Two balls with the uh, chrome and cobalt underneath. These have all come out all right. Another one there. It's got quite a nice. purpley brush to it there. So they, okay. There's some smaller moon jars. These have just got cobalt on uh, and then white. But what's quite nice is the way that this uh, dolomite glaze has left a, 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 a bleed line around the edge of it there. You can see. There's two or three of these in here. So they've come, that one's come out okay. And uh, as for this shelf here, this is an experiment. What I did was I put the, um, the cobalt, sorry, I put the uh, dolomite glaze on and then I just took a Hakame brush and just brushed some um, cobalt on top of the glaze. So I quite like those. There's some more of those down, a bit further down below. So we'll have a look. And the T-ball, that's the top shelf. And uh, right, take the rest of these uh, shelves out. Okay, the next shelf. Some more of these uh, balls with the blue on top. It's bubbled up a little bit on the edge there, the glaze. Could do with a little bit more heat, I think. And this one's stuck to the shelf. And I've actually put bat wash on, so that didn't work, did it? So that'll go in the bin. Another one here. It's just a pure white one without the without the cobalt on. Some more of these small moon jars here that are for candles. For Callie's project. They've all come out okay. She'll be pleased with that. Still blowing a gale here. Some pretty bad winds lately. That's another little experimental one. More of the oatmeal with the, the dolomite glaze with the brush on the top. I quite like that effect. That one's up a little bit more on it, put extra on that one. It's going to be sort of uh, be crazy on the bottom of there. There we are. And a few more of these uh, little guinomis that are going to go as candle holders. So they will come out okay. Right, last shelf. shelf for refires I thought they might go a little bit better that we're a bit uh, under fired at cone six but uh, it's not helped at all I'm really not that keen on refiring pots uh, with me pots get one chance that's it 
and uh, that just goes to prove it that I've refired those and just uh, nothing's happened. They've just got a bit shinier. So they can go. Right, that's it. Uh, that's the last of the firings for the electric comp for this year. Uh, back to the uh, uncertainty and excitement of firing the gas kiln. I found that um, firing in electric kilns for me personally is a bit uh, underwhelming. Some nice pots come out but you more or less know what's coming out and I like the, the uncertainty and the, uh, the drama of it all. Uh, so uh, back to gas next week and uh, the kiln is going over to uh, Biscuit Fire for the rest of the year. Okay, see you next time.